Okay, so suppose we have a large class and they write a test and after writing the test we find that uh, once we calculate the scores, the average or the mean of the scores was 57.7% and the standard deviation was 20.3%. Now because uh, it's a large class and so we can assume um, there's lots and lots and lots of tests being written, we, uh, we assume that the grades are distributed using a normal distribution and that uh, we choose a single student or a single test completely at random and we'd like to know uh, the following probabilities. What is the probability that the student passed the test? What is the probability that the student scored between 70 and 80? And what is the probability that the student scored above 90? So to do this, we're gonna calculate some Z scores and use a Z score table. Uh, so let's get started right away. Um, so what is the probability that the student passed the test? So in this situation, we're wondering about what is the probability that our random variable, uh, namely uh, the, the score on this random test that we're choosing, uh, is greater than 50. So what's the probability that they pass the test? Well, if we look at this and we turn this into a z-score, the z-score that we would get would be uh, the value that we're interested in, in our random variable minus the mean of the distribution. So in our case, that'd be 57.7. And when we divide by the standard deviation, which is 20.3, we arrive at a z-score, which is approximately negative 0.38. So instead of this question, we are now changing it into what is the probability of our Z score being greater than negative 0.38. Okay, so now that we've got it changed into a Z score, now we need to make use of a, of a standard Z score table. The problem here is that most Z score tables are given as the probability that Z is less than or equal to, to a number, um, a positive number. Uh, we have a situation where we want Z is greater than um, a negative number. So we have to kind of uh, rearrange this. So what we're going to do is we're going to use our rules, which says that if we have uh, a situation where we would like Z is greater than something, we can change this into um, one minus the probability that Z is smaller than or equal to that same thing, negative 0.38. Okay, so we're still not quite there because uh, Z score tables are given in terms of positive uh, numbers. However, uh, what we can do is we can use another rule that says if we're looking for the probability of Z being smaller than or equal to a negative number, what that actually is is one minus the probability of that Z score being smaller than or equal to the positive number, uh, so 0 0.38. So we've converted this into a situation where we can have the probability that Z is smaller than or equal to a positive number. Okay, so now we can go ahead and calculate that. So that's one minus one minus, uh, now we can use our table. So we look at, up our table to figure out what the probability of our Z, uh, Z being smaller than or equal to 0 0.38, and we figure that that is 0 0.6480. And uh, after we simplify this, one minus one minus uh, 0 0.6480, we, we find out that this is just equal to 0 0.6480. So the probability that we would find uh, a test um, where the student passed would be about uh, 0.6480. Okay, so the next question. What is the probability that the score is between 70 and 80? So for this, let's change uh, what we're looking for is the probability that our random variable is in between uh, 70 and 80. So X, which is our random test score, is in between 70 and 80. Um, we can change these into Z scores. Um, so um, Z score one would be 70 minus 57.7 divided by 20.3. Uh, and that is approximately equal to uh, 0 0.61. And also uh, Z score two, um, which is the 80, would be 80 minus the mean, which is 57.7 divided by the standard deviation, which is 20.3. And that's approximately equal to one 0.10. So now, instead of this probability of finding a random variable between 70 and 80, we convert this into what is the probability, instead of what is the probability of our random variable being between 70 and 80, we have converted this into what is the probability of finding our Z score uh, between 0 0.61 and um, 1.10. And now we can go ahead and use the Z score table. So this is precisely equal to the probability of Z being less than 1.10 minus the probability of our Z score being less than or equal to 0 
And looking these up in a standard table, what we find is that the probability that Z is less than 1.10 is uh, 0 0.8643. And the probability that Z is less than or equal to 0 0.61 is about 0 0.7291. And of course, if we uh, just carry out that subtraction, we get 0 0.1352. So what is the probability that we'll find a, uh, a random te this test, this random test that we pulled out will be uh, a score between 70 and 80? Uh, the answer is the probability would be about 0 0.1352. And the last thing that uh, they wanted to know, what, what was the probability that we would find a test score uh, that is above 90? So our our random variable would be uh, above 90. Um, well, let's again convert this into a uh, z-score. So that is uh, our score that we're interested in minus the mean, which is 57.7, uh, divided by the standard deviation. And if we calculate that, what we're now interested in a z, this gives us a z-score of approximately uh, 1.59. And so this turns our probability question into what is the probability that our Z score is above 1.59. Uh, so to do that, uh, we're gonna use the same kind of rules that we had before where, of course, uh, the Z scores give us uh, what the probability is of Z being less than something. To, so to convert that, uh, the probability of Z being greater than something, what we're gonna do is do our one minus rule. So that's one minus the probability of Z being less than 1.59. Uh, we can look that probability up because that uh, kind of fits what a z-score table does. One minus that probability is one minus 0 0.9441. And when you actually calculate that, the probability is 0 0.0559. So the probability of finding a score that is greater than 90 is about uh, 0 0.056.